hello my name is Dawn and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to share with you another haul so makeup haul na naman tayo pero hindi ko naman to nabili ng isang bilihan na just like my other haul videos mga naipon ko na sila siguro mga 2 to 3 months so if you wanna know what I got for this haul just keep on watching so let's start let's start so, let's start muna dun sa nakuha ko sa Lazada, yung Pink Sugar. So, ito yung collaboration ni Miss Anne Clothes sa Pink Sugar na ultimate kit niya for only 9.99 pesos. Super affordable nito kasi you got 7 items. You got 7 items na for only 9.99. Kung ito total mo lahat to, is mga nasa 2,000 plus na siya. Kasi lahat pati siya regular sizes, hindi siya sample size or what. So, first, the sa kit niya, which I believe mga favorites niya to, meron dalawang sweet chicks. One is in the shade Morocco. So, ang cute ng mga packaging nila no, ng pink sugar. So, yung Morocco, this is what it looks like. Super liit lang niya. And perfect siya for traveling kasi you can just put it in your makeup bag and go, diba? So, ito yung Morocco. It's a perfect contour or bronzer. And ganyan na siya. And it has a mirror then as well. So, yung next is Sweet Cheeks then in the shade Miss Independent. So, same then. This one is a blush naman. And perfect for everyday. It's like a pinkish nude na color. And I believe super pigmented niya. I don't know if you can see. Ayan, ang pigmented, diba? Perfect for everyday lang yung shade niya. I haven't tried anything from yung pink sugar na binili ko. So, wala pa akong masasabi na thoughts about them. Pero I can say naman itong mga blushes, hindi siya powdery. And meron talaga siyang pigmentation. I haven't swatched pala yung Morocco, so swatch natin. So, ito yung swatch ng Morocco. Sorry for my swatches, hindi ako masyado magaling mag-swatch. Anyway, yan, perfect contour shade lang siya. And hindi siya masyadong harsh tingnan. So, yan. I love it. Can't wait to try them. Next one sa kit is the Eye Candy Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Tiramisu. So, it looks like this. So, quad lang siya. And when you open, so yeah, meron na siya, meron siya uh, sponge applicator, which I don't really use at all. So meron tayong dark shade here, then dalawang brown shades, and meron tayong lighter shade. Here. So it has a perfectly good size mirror. Next one in the kit is the Honey I'm Good Eyebrow Gel. It's in the shade Taupe. Ang kit ng mga packaging ng Pink Sugar, nakakahinayang itapon. Anyway, ito yung Honey I'm Good Eyebrow Gel. Let's see yung inside. So, ito yung itsura ng eyebrow gel. Perfect lang siya sa eye... <laughs> Mascara si Ate. Sa eyebrows. Maliit lang siya. Then, next is meron ding Eye Candy All Day Liner. In the shade, I believe it's black. Wala nakalagay na shade, pero sa packaging naman, it's black. So, it's a pencil liner. So, swatch natin. Super black niya. As in. And ang creamy niya. Hindi siya yung dry. Next one is the sugar tint, lip and cheek tint in the shade Slay. So, I haven't tried yung mga sugar tints nila. So, this is what it looks like. Medyo pinkish siya. Let's swatch it. Ang gulo ng swatches ko. Huh? Ang bango. Ang bango niya. This is the shade. Ang ganda. I don't know lang kung pwede siya sa cheeks din. Para kasi ang consistency niya is liquid lipstick. Ang super bango niya. Smells like candy. Then lastly dun sa kit is a pink sugar creamy matte. So, it's in the shade Hot Mess. So, this is what it looks like. Ganun din. Perfect for everyday din. And makikita mo agad yung shade niya dito. And I think pareho sila. Mm. Pareho sila ng color nung nasa labas. As well as dun sa lipstick itself. This is good kasi pag naka-store lang siya sa vanity mo, makikita mo agad kung ano yung gusto mong shade for that day, ba? Madali mong makikita. 
kasi meron siya dito. So let's watch and let's smell. Ito medyo hindi ko ma-distinguish yung smell. Pero hindi naman siya gan... Hindi naman, it's not a bad smell. So let's swatch it. Ngayon ko lang yun swatch talaga itong mga to. So it's another everyday perfect shade. So that's it from Pink Sugar. I don't know lang kung meron pa nito ngayon sa Lazada. Pero I think wala na siya. And I'm so glad na nabili ko siya for only 9.99 pesos. So let's proceed naman dun sa nakuha ko from Pop Culture. So sa Trinoma yun. Meron lang ako nakuha three things. So, first I got is the Lucas Papaw Ointment. So, ito, ginagawa ko siyang lip balm. Pero nakalagay dito, it's a topical application for boils, yung mga insect bites, so nappy rash, sa mga rashes. Pero perfect din siya for a lip balm. Na, nakita ko to kay Miss Simply Raise. So, lagi niya itong ginagamit for her lips. So, I got this for only 350 pesos lang. Unlike sa other online shops na nakikita ko, medyo na gigim pricey siya. Nakikita ko is 500 plus or nasa 600 pa nga yung iba. And I use this quite a lot. As you can see, medyo payat na siya. Ginagamit ko to um, before going to bed kasi I really have dry lips. As in, nagchachap chachap siya sa gitna dito. Nagchachap siya sa inner part yung namamalat as in. So, pagkagising ko sa umaga, ang ganda na ng lips ko as in soft na siya. Hindi na siya dry. And maganda na gumamit ng mga liquid lipstick. Next is yung Real Kill Sunblock with Makeup Base from R.A. and Guburi or Ra and Guburi. So, it's a Korean brand. So, I got this for only 480 pesos. So, it's a sunblock plus makeup base na siya. So, parang primer. I use this every day as you can see din. Gamit na gamit to. I love this for every day kasi nga sunblock na siya as well as primer. Usually naman, hindi naman ako nagamit ng foundation on a daily. Ano lang, BB cream or AA cream. So, okay na to as a makeup base. And may SPF 50 plus 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 pa siya, diba? And yung consistency niya is a cream. Creamy yung consistency niya. It's not like other primers na silicone base. Para na rin siyang nagiging moisturizer for me. So lastly na nakuha ko from Pop Culture is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So as you can see, I've been using this quite a lot. And it da, it does. And it does make my makeup last. Pero hindi yung kineclaim niya na 16 hours, no. Hindi naman kasi ako nagsusuot ng makeup for that long. Siguro mga 4 to 6 hours with my oily skin. Medyo napipigilan niya yung pagka-oily ng skin ko pag ginagamit ko to. Lalo na sa cheek area. Kasi sa T-zone talaga, hindi talaga may iwasan na super oily na pagdating ng mga 6 to 8 hours. But with this, medyo nalalock in niya yung foundation. I got this for 500 pesos. I know medyo maliit siya. Akala ko nga una, malaki-laki siya. Pag nakikita ko siya sa mga videos. Pero 60ml lang siya for 500 pesos. Anyway, it's a good product na. So next is this aloe vera. Uh, soothing Gel Mist. So, it's from Nature Republic. I got this. I forgot the price, pero nasa 200 plus siya. Same lang siya nung nasa gel type, yung nasa tub. And, pag ayaw mong mag, ano, mag moisturizer, pwede na rin to. Actually, I use this after kung mag toner, lalo na pag medyo na dry yung skin ko after mag toner. I spray this all over my face and I feel moisturized and super affordable lang for 150 ml. So next naman is this Kathy Doll AA Matte Powder Cushion Oil Control. So it has SPF 50 PA++. So I got this for 449. Nung nakita ko to sa online or sa Facebook, sa Facebook page nila, akala ko they're on sale kasi yung regular price nito I believe is nasa 800 plus. Then, nakita ko doon, 449 na lang siya. Then, nung pumunta ko sa stores, Watson's or sa department store, ano pala siya, mini version. <laughs> Akala ko, hindi siya yung full size. Ganto lang siya kaliit. As you can see, maliit siya. Kaya pala, 449 lang siya. So, ang shade ko is number 23, Natural Beige. I think pareho lang sila nung nasa tube na AA Cream. Kasi bumibili ako nun yung sachet. Meron ako dito. So, this one, yung AA din, medyo madumi siya kasi nga, I'm, I'm always using this everyday. AA Automatic 
cream, automatic aura cream. Ah, ito SPF 45 lang siya. And this one is SPF 50. So, this one kasi 54 pesos lang siya. And tumatagal siya sa akin ng 2 months. Eh, 2 months. <laughs> 2 weeks lang. <laughs> Ilan ba to? 6 grams. And this one, 6 grams din pala to best. 6 grams din siya. 449 pesos. Ito 6 grams then 454 pesos. Anyway, kasi yun 45. SPF 45 lang. Ito 50. And may packaging to. Siguro kaya mas mahal siya. Siguro may difference din siya kung gagamitin. Anyway, ganito yung tura niya. And mas maliit yung puff. Cute lang. Then, when you open it, so close by. Haven't tried it yet. Naubos ko pa yung sachet. I don't know kung may refill nito. So, next is I got two items from Nichido. First one is the Nichido Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. So, ito yung ginagamit ko talaga nung college ako. Dito ako natutong mag eyebrows. So, this one is only 80 pesos lang. And, ganyan na siya. Pencil. You have to sharpen it nga lang. Yun lang ang medyo hassle sa ganito. Eyebrow pencil. And, meron na rin naman siyang brush here for blending it. Hindi nga lang siya ganun na labas agad yung shade niya. But anyway, gusto ko rin siyang itry, kaya ako siya binili. 80 pesos lang naman. So, next one from Nichido is their final powder in the shade Creamy Glow. So, this is been a rave of Miss Anklots. And this is my second tub, actually. So, naubos ko na yung isang ganto. This is my second na. And I still love it. 150 pesos. Still 150 pesos pa rin siya, in fairness, kahit sobrang tagal na. And it has 25 grams. Sobrang dami niyang powder as in. Ang tagal ko bago naubos yung akin. Kahit araw-araw mo siyang gamitin. And this is perfect for baking. So next is super excited akong intra ito kasi sobrang tagal ko bago to nakita. Kasi lagi siyang out of stock sa healthy options. And you know what I'm talking about. It's the Aztec Secret Indian Clean Indian Clean? Indian Healing Clay Mask. So, it's the world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. So, yan. I got this Samoa. Samoa ko siya nakita. Nung pumunta kami doon ng sister ko, akala namin wala din. Wala kasi siya sa shelves nila. Then, when we ask yung counter, yung cashier, nandun pala. Doon nakatago sa ilalim nila. So, you have to ask kung meron sila nung Aztec. So, 500 pesos na to ngayon. Before kasi nakikita ko na to sa healthy options and hindi ko siya pinapansin best. 400 plus na siya ngayon, 500 plus na. Siguro kasi masyado siya naging rave. Kaya yun, medyo naging, medyo tumaas yung price niya. Anyway, medyo kalahati na lang to kasi hinati-hati namin. Kaming tatlo magkakapatid. So, I got the packaging of course. So, yun. I can't wait to try it. Siguro, Ito try namin to ni Toby together. And we'll see kung talagang maganda siya. Next is from BLK Cosmetics. So, medyo marami akong nakuha from their K-Beauty collections kasi I got excited talaga. And actually, ngayon lang ako bumili ng BLK. Yung first launch ng BLK, wala akong na-try dun sa products nila. So, this one, medyo napadami yung kuha ko. So, isa-isahin natin. First is the BB and CC Cream Stick in the shade Light Beige. So, I believe there are three shades nito. Yung Light Beige yung kinuha ko kasi yun yung may yellow undertone. And I got this for 449 pesos. Medyo expensive siya. So, this is what it looks like. Merong brush dito sa other end. I don't think na magagamit ko to. Kasi medyo maliit siya. And ang hirap mag-blend best. Ang laka ng mukha ko. So, dito, nasa other side, yung foundation. Which looks like that. It has 6 grams. So, ganito. Ganito na kadami 6 grams. I don't know ha. Kasi ang unti lang niya. For 449. I haven't tried it yet. Siguro naman maganda yung quality niya. So, ganito yung tura niya. I think yung nasa gitna yung CC cream, then BB cream yung nasa outer part. I don't know. Pero, 
I'm going to try this out and see. Maybe I'll do a review for this kung okay siya sa oily skin. Next is I got the BLK Cosmetics All Day Lip and Chic Water Tint. So I got three shades. Actually, four shades to. Yung isa, hindi ko na siya nakuha. So I got the pink one, the cherry, and the orange one. So, ganito yung itsura nila. And I really love this talaga as in. So, yung una ko nabili is yung shade na cherry. As you can see naman, kung gano'n na siya kaunti. Ang ganda niya kasi best. So, medyo na araw-araw ko siya. 2.15 grams siya. Konti lang siya for... So, for 249 pesos. Medyo konti siya, diba? Medyo pricey siya for that content. You'll love this kasi yung pigmentation niya is equally distributed sa lips mo. As in, hindi siya nagsaseto doon sa mga dry areas ng lips mo. Kasi for me, medyo nagdaday ako sa inner part ng lips ko. And this one is so moisturizing. Unlike yung other mga tints na ginagamit natin, yung mga watery tints. Pero yung mga inexpensive naman na watery tints, medyo sa gitna lang siya na nagka-color, diba? This one, lahat ng lips mo, may pigmentation. Nandun yung shade, makikita mo talaga. It's not drying at all. Moisturizing pa nga siya sa lips. And I love that it has a applicator. Bendable pa nga yung applicator niya, as you can see. Nabibend siya. So, sobrang daling mag-apply nito sa lips. Yung cons ko lang for this is, medyo hindi siya long-lasting. Actually, pag kumain ka na, medyo nag-fade na siya agad. And it's a bit messy on the cap. Yung sa lid niya. As you can see, ayan o. Ang kalat niya dun sa takip. And parang ang daming product nun sa sayang, diba? Siguro dun niya napupunta yung iba. Kaya parang ang bilis niyang maubos. Besides that naman, I still love this product. Ito talaga yung favorite ko as of the moment na tint. Actually, everyday ko na nga siyang ginagamit. So, swatch natin isa-isa. This one is cherry. So, ayan siya. Medyo deep red color. Next one is the orange. Talagang true orange siya. And perfect to pag yung look mo is medyo peachy. Peachy eye look. Yan. Then, lastly, ito yung latest kong nabili. Kaya medyo kaya puno pa siya. Actually, hindi ko pa ito nagagamit. This one is in the shade pink. And looking at it, parang hindi siya pink, diba? Ang dark nung tingnan. Pero anyway, let's swatch it. Ang dark nga niya. Ayan o. Medyo may pagka-pink naman siya. Parang nagiging violet. Anyway, yan. So, that's the shade. Hindi ko na kinuha yung shade na red. Kasi medyo parang pareho na sila nung cherry. Medyo brighter color lang. Medyo brighter lang yung pagka-red nung shade na red. Next one is the Creamy Chick Paint. So, I got both the shades. Yung strawberry and yung peach one. And I can say na I really love this. Kasi super creamy niya. And sa sobrang creaminess niya, ang dali niya i-blend. And hindi siya nag ng stain. Actually, I'm wearing the strawberry one. Med sobrang pigmented niya. As in, one to two dots lang yan. Then I just I just blend it with my fingers. And hindi nag-stain yung fingers ko. Unlike other chick tints, na nag-leave nag talaga siya ng stain. So, kailangan mo talaga siyang i-blend agad. As in, kailangan bilisan or else magkakaroon ka ng stain dyan. Pero ito, kahit ilagay mo na parehas, tas one side pa lang yung nabiblend mo. Kahit medyo nagtagalan ka na sa other side, pagpunta mo doon sa kabila, is sobrang dali pa rin niyang i-blend. So, I really love this. The pigmentation is great. Wala akong cons dito. And I got this for 349 pesos. For 5 ml. So, 5 ml to for 349 pesos. Ito yung pinaka-favorite ko dun sa collection nila na K-Beauty. Then lastly is yung kanilang All Day Intense Matte Lipstick. Isang shade lang yung kinuha ko. Pero may tatlong shades to. So yung pinili ko lang is yung shade na My Love. So medyo peachy siya. Yung iba kasi, yung dalawang shades is may pink and then may red. This is what it looks like. Same yung packaging as before yung mga matte lipsticks nila. Super ganda ng packaging as in. And the shade, yun, medyo peachy siya. Swatch natin. 
Ayan. Tsaka na swatch. So, that's it from BLK Cosmetics. Hindi ko na nakuha yung eyeshadow nila kasi I don't use a use. I don't use naman eyeshadows lagi. Then, lastly, for this haul is mga makeup tools naman. As you all know, yung Glad King, di ba sa Divisoria? Sa Divisoria, it's a popular shop for makeup tools. So, nung pumunta kami ng sister ko sa Alabang, sa Festival Mall, I didn't know na may Glad King na doon. Napadaan lang talaga kami. So, may nakuha akong few items. First is their Glad King sponge. Meron talaga siyang Meron talaga silang logo. This is for only 100 pesos. And maganda na may nalagyan siya for hygienic purposes, di ba? So, yeah. Medyo madumi siya kasi I've been using this. Maganda yung finish ng foundation dito. And medyo nagsasuck in lang siya ng product. Pero besides that, okay naman yung finish ng foundation mo when you're using this. So, next is I got a big paddle brush. So, that is what it looks like. 150 pesos to. And, I have a smaller paddle brush. Kaya lang medyo mahirap kasing mag-blend ng foundation using that. Kasi maliit siya. With this, ang laki niya diba? As in, ang bilis mag-blend ng foundation dito. Or BB cream. Or any creams. So, I love this. I've been using this quite a lot. Kasi nga, pag nagmamadali, you know, ang bilis niya. As in, I love this. 150 pesos lang. Then next is this um, medyo tapered na brush. I got this for 200 pesos. And I believe perfect for pang highlight. I think. So ganyan yung isura niya. And super soft niya as in for highlighting, I know for highlight or pwede rin for the under eye pag magsiset ka ng under eye mo using a using a powder so yeah, it's super soft as in, I haven't used this yet then lastly from Glad King is this one it's a powder brush wala syang box I believe, nalimutan ko na kung may box to pero parang wala naka brush guard lang siya and Ang ganda niya, Besh. Ang ganda nung brush niya. It's a powder brush. And parang kanila mismo to kasi meron siyang Glad King na nakalagay sa kanyang handle. This one yung 01 nila. I forgot the price. Parang nasa 200 din to. Nalimutan ko na yung. Last, last month ko pa kasi ito nabili. Pero super lambot niya, Besh. Ang ganda. Makikita mo talaga na maganda yung quality ng brushes na. So, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did this, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, click the bell button beside it so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. And that is it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!